is a common exam question. What's going to be the product in this reaction? Well, we have an alkene and we have the hydrogen halide, which means that we are looking at the hydrohalogenation of alkenes reaction. The first step in the mechanism of this reaction is going to be taking our alkene and our hydrogen bromide and doing the electrophilic attack on our double bond, giving us the corresponding carbocation, which in this case is going to be a secondary carbocation. The other possible position is going to be over here, which is a primary position, so we definitely don't don't want to go there. Now, here is something very important. Right next to this secondary carbocation, we have a quaternary position, which means that if a carbocation can rearrange to give a more stable carbocation, it absolutely will. And if we can go from the secondary to something more stable, we are going to see that here as well. So we are going to end up with the alkyl shift, which is now going to give us a tertiary carbocation, which is more stable. I will remind you that the general trend is that the tertiary carbocation is more stable than the secondary carbocation, which is infinitely more stable than the primary carbocations and CH3+. So much that we consider the primary carbocations and CH3+, essentially science fiction within the scope of organic chemistry. So, once we have our more stable carbocation, we are going to take our nucleophile, which is the Br- in this particular case, do the nucleophilic attack, and get our final product. Awesome possum!